due to the amount of time the word stupid have been said on this week episode. Every time the word will be said it will be replaced by Takashi69 saying it instead. This is the weekly appointment with Wade and David. What did you say? What? 9-11 was an inside job. Is that, is that what she said? Okay. So yes, well, you, welcome you, back. You might have uh, noticed that uh, there wasn't any podcast last week. Yeah. And that's because, well... I I goofed. Life. Big time. No, you didn't. You didn't. Well, I mean, I goofed. Up. Yeah. You didn't goofed. Life came at you fast. All right. Well, if you say so. You, if If, you know, letting your... Letting your water running while you're gone at work isn't goofing. Well, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, basically what happened is I had a little bit of a flood because... Um, I don't have to give detail to strangers on the internet, David. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> let's cut that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're back. <laughs> yeah, we're back. Sorry for the hiatus. Um, well, for the... Six butt watching and the only one person like actively watching this. Anyway, do we still have eight subscribers? No, I think we fell to six. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so we lost subscribers. <laughs> uh, wait, what episode is this? <laughs> I think it's twelve. Uh, probably yeah. Yeah. Welcome to episode twelve. You made it. <laughs> it's next one 12. is gonna be cursed. I finally found a f- whew, I finally found a way to um record on my new PC which yeah. is much more uh I guess silent yeah S- silent hopefully uh this session will be will sound amazing right off the bat and we'll be able to uh, cuz I mean we had to switch up computers yeah. uh for recording and Because my other one, my old one, was getting a little bit, um, well, you know, overwhelmed and full and uh, full of fucking porn. Yep, and that's what happened. <coughs> so there you go. Download just one just too many it. videos and get fucked around with a virus. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just kidding. I have to uh, fix my shit. No, I mean, it's now the it, It's going to be my dad's uh, next PC, probably. So. Yep. My old one is gonna go to my bed. Full of virus. My All right. Bed. So, big announcement. Um, How do you make a fucking <laughs> spike like this? <laughs> Jesus Christ! You fucking pig. Yeah. That, that's you, though. No, that's you. That's me. Oh uh, yeah. My pig at the bottom there. Because yeah, you're bassy and I'm, I guess, high pitched. How am I bassy? Ooh, that's bassy. All right. Big announcement, though. Yeah. Um uh the channel has been rebranded. It's now called Pro Joe and Friends because I want to do more than just a podcast. And Fair enough. I felt like the weekly appointment was fine, but at the same time it's not really representative of what I want to do. I just want to post shit and like just shit post in general. <laughs> and and then, do fun shit. Yeah, and and You know, have a variety show. Like, uh, okay, the the podcast will continue. Yeah, that's that's for certain. But I might label the title episode differently from now on, because mm-hmm. uh, uh, I think we don't get picked up by the algorithm because we don't write podcasts on the title, which is fucking stupid. stupid. But that's oh. that's how fucking YouTube's work. So, are uh, we loud enough? I don't know if uh, yeah, just if boosting like. like a little bit just just a bit just a fucking <laughs> yeah it, it sounds way better now but yeah does it? i mean all right so mid podcast tweaking let's go yeah during my update fucking <laughs> speech by the <laughs> yeah, right. okay so yeah pro joint friends uh pro joe because my handle is pro joe star yeah. so i felt like it was appropriate and friends because We're, we're fucking friends. Yeah, and a lot more people might show up on this channel, this, well, other than David. Yes. Um, 
and I have a, I have an idea for a new series that I'm fucking hype about. What is it? <laughs> I won't disclose any information, but do if it. you enjoy non cipheric stuff, let's say that's gonna be right the right show for you. Your cup of tea. Yeah, right up your alley. <laughs> right up your. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Um. What else? David uh, has almost finished a song. Wow. Am I allowed to <laughs> fucking disclose that information? Yeah, sure. I mean, it's almost yeah. finished. So I just need to finish the drops, I guess. And uh, figure I, out at, at the time of recording. Yeah, figure out a an outro too because it doesn't, you know, it, it just stops at the end of the drop. The, the, the second drop, should I say? Um, I should say. I can't fucking speak again. Wow. I think I'm going to have itself. like a fucking calendar for every time you mention that. Yeah. We know you can't speak. <laughs> it's, it's fine, dude. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, uh, I only have to, you, you know, finish up some shit. Yes. And it's going to be pretty much done after we, that. So basically we're, we're all cooking. More yeah. stuff will come. I mean, well, more stuff from me because I want to put out more stuff. Hopefully. Yeah, and hopefully we don't have another time where we uh, put the podcast on hiatus. Because I mean, like, I mean, it's not it's not a call out of <laughs> it's not a call out of anything, but God uh, damn. Because I I do want to post more stuff, and I feel like if we break the chain, yeah, it, it just it, it's kind of hard to get back. I mean, to be fair, snob- what it's gonna snowball. Yeah, and to be fair, like it's from something like we didn't expect it anyway i could have posted another like podcast on my phone but like yeah. eh. i mean like we still ha- we need a proper episode with uh, elizabeth so yeah Ex- except from that what happened during last week oh yeah our prime minister blackface uh, sorry <laughs> brown face <laughs> <laughs> casually, oh my god <laughs> casually dropping that <laughs> casually dropping a blackface picture on but social media that's media. fucking funny like because he's in power right now so that like the fact that that picture come came out come at this time oh yeah with a uh, with like obviously you know i mean uh, no, uh, uh, another party Who's sick? That's I a think. Good I don't know lesson to, to learn, though. A lesson from what? Don't. I mean, don't don't do racist shit because it's gonna fucking bite you in the ass later. I mean, it's, it's not racist. Especially, it's more him if you're a figure of you know a, a public figure. Oh, it's it's just dumb. I think it's it's honestly like just a dumb mistake. Yeah, probably. which is funny because like that that's back when he was a a, a school teacher. Uh, I don't. Whoa! University cheater, t t I think <laughs> cheater. Yeah. Yikes! That's gonna come up. In I think stuff. it's university. But yeah, he was a teacher at the time, so it's even funnier. Oh my god! <laughs> it, oh. It's, it's so funny, and like I don't know. To to me, it's funny as a person of color. Like it, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think it's dumb. I don't. It's think, fucking funny, but like I don't think it was like a any ill intent. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> no, no, no. But, but I mean, like it's it, it's just it's just just a, feels bad. He looks stupid. stupid. We live in a society yeah. where, um, you know, people take f- silly shit for, you know, some, take some seriously. Yeah, but I mean, like, because people act stupid, stupid until they get cut. Like, that's that's the whole part yeah. of it. Like, the girl from, uh, I don't know if you know the show, Orange is the New Black. Yeah. Like, the main actress, the white girl. Yeah. Like, she, she tried to cosplay as a black character and she blacked face so like no <laughs> no <laughs> and like how it, it, you wouldn't like i i i think sh- her defense was like oh i i was just uh cosplaying a character but it's like you, you know exactly what's the problem yeah. stop doing that robert like, downey jr didn't get shit well that much shit he didn't get no I don't think he got shit for that. Yeah. Because at the same time, like, Tropic Thunder was lightning in a bottle. Because, like, they dissed a lot of people. They, oh, they, oh, yeah. They dissed, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> they 
des, des, des euh, un des heavily dissed people with disabilities like oh, yeah, literally sure. like yeah. the whole movie is kind of about that mm. they made fun of uh, I think Koreans yeah for sure they made fun well Brad, Robert Downey Jr. and the whole black thing yeah and and that's that's an actual plot point of the movie too like <laughs> like I, I'm doing the role of a black man oh, so, I, I'm playing so a guy dumb. who's playing a guy yeah so yeah. like there's the layers of I mean joke yeah Cause, uh, ah, it's, there you it's go so fucking stupid. but I don't know like <laughs> the, I mean obviously the, the whole s history of black facing is just it's fucking stupid, stupid. yep but uh, at the same time like I don't think Trudeau should be like accountable for this nah like it just it, it's just stupid. stupid like honestly like people just should just wake up and like vote for somebody else that's it <laughs> like yeah, and exactly. move on just, from that like yeah. but saying like Because I remember when that news dropped, mm -hmm. uh, like you had the the other party, uh, the other the the English guy who yeah. was like, "Oh, that's a that's something that's a racist thing Trudeau did," and it's like, you know, it's, it's not fucking. It's I mean, it has a history of being racist, yeah. but for that particular moment, I don't think it was. Like, yeah, 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 exactly. It's just him being stupid, stupid. like yeah. honestly, and, but, and um, like you can even funny. see on his hand. Like the commitment. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's fucking dumb. A whole anyway. body paint. Uh, but yeah. Um, what else happened? Uh, my my apartment got flooded. Twiddle black faced. Uh, people get mad about a 16 year old trying to protect the forest. Yeah, true. That's fucking another thing. That's stupid. stupid. Yeah. Like, are you? People go fucking hell like, on that okay. girl for no fucking reason. All right, look, I get it, right? Uh, she, she she does a lot of speech. The whole thing of like her saying like we should stop using fossil fuel and people being like, oh, it doesn't work like that. No, no, no. But it's like you're not tr actively trying to yeah. engage into a conversation. You're just scolding a little girl for being a little girl. Like, yeah, even to. even if there's a a. You know, our whole party behind her trying to make uh, that use her as a um, a voice. Mm -hmm. She's still a 16 year old, like going ham and being like, "Oh, the, you should be at school. What the fuck are you like preaching adults about how to live?" And then it's like, "Come on, like we're talking yeah, about our that's... planet. We're talking about the Earth. Yeah. You know, the fucking big rock in the sky that we fucking live on." Like you dummy. Yeah, <laughs> like for real. Like yeah. I, by the like, man, we're fucking burning forest for more food. What's the point of having like? Oh, my mom is calling. Uh oh, hi mom. Um, <laughs> hi mom bye mom <laughs> <laughs> but uh like having the the whole thing of like roasting her for like being a kid it's so fucking dumb it's yeah. it's ridiculous and and i feel it like is. we feel a bigger generational generational gap because like yeah. kids well, are trying their to fucking best to ensure that they have a livable future Or yeah, a survivable future. Uh, uh, you know, a future where they can fucking breathe. Yeah, like <laughs> boomers just <laughs> they don't give a shit. Had like their whole fucking time fucking around at concert, dropping acid, and now <laughs> it's like yeah, exactly. And now like we have a shitty. Well, we're getting shitty weather, and it's like yeah, that's gonna be your problem later because all of the boomers are gonna be like old people that we have to pay for their. Um, you know, uh, I forgot the term and I can't say it in English, but we'll have to take care of them when they get older. So we're gonna get fucked. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, either way, and then you left us with like an unbreathable fucking planet. Yeah. And saying like, oh, we're, we're gonna plant four billion trees. Shut the fuck up. Really like, that's blame. not enough. It's not enough saying we're gonna ban plastic bags, my nigga. That's not enough. <laughs> like, okay, we remove plastic bag. Guess what? We still can't breathe. What's still up? Still have fucked up turtles with yeah. fucking straws up their nose. Yeah, <laughs> bars. 
sorry. Yeah, we still have fish getting cut in like the the fucking thing for canids. Yeah. Oh my god. Man, yeah. it's fucking dumb. It's so ridiculous. Like that's gonna be the episode. Everything is dumb. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking stupid. stupid. I mean, yeah, it's partly a generic, uh, blah, blah, generational thing, but I don't think, um, I don't think it's just that. I think the gen- I, I generational feel like, gap. Yeah, I feel like there's yeah, it, there's a different way of. Of living for sure, but um, I feel like we we're <laughs> come on. I heard it. Stop. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna make it by being called. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I feel like um, it's not it's not just a <coughs> generational thing, but it's more uh, I don't know, like the whole society. Like how it's built, how it's, uh, you know, revolving around those like big corporations and shit that just, you know, f- uh, if they don't change, nothing is going to change. They hold us by the fucking balls, basically. So. But I, I kind of disagree. I mean, yeah, that's part of it. But it, It's part of it. It's just, it, it's not only like people leaving trash around. Like it's No, of course not. It's, There's always the bigger picture. The, yeah, see, the trash comes from those big companies or like, uh, fuck, it but costs at the too same much. Time, to like, eh. But at the same time, like, if everybody, like, We're losing on money. the street, like, just on the street here, if everybody just throw their poop outside, just throw their, their oh, trash yeah, for sure. and There's stuff, a, like, it's... It's still gonna have yeah, an impact. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's I mean, an that, that's basically like the Black Plague and like yeah, <laughs> all exactly. the stuff that happened. People shitting in the streets and throwing their yeah, their stuff around, trying to figure out why the fuck. Yeah, like, and they were getting diseased rats and yeah. shit. Like, yeah, and I mean, fuck. like, because I do feel that there's a generational gap because, uh, like, you can see it on on fucking Facebook, Twitter, anywhere. Like, you can see clearly, like. The, the older people are more lenient towards being negative about... You can see clearly now the rain is gone. Yeah. Let the rain come down on Africa. <laughs> I bless the rain. Down in Africa. But hey, I'm big in Japan. Tonight. Singing loud. Tonight. All right. So <laughs> <laughs> that was a whole lot of nothing. All right. But you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. It, it, it it always starts with you when you want to make a change. Yep, exactly. And of course, like, of course. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, my God. Oh, I just remembered. So, Friday, they had a huge manifestation for uh, the planet, right? Yeah. And it, there was a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And it was really cool to see that, like, people uniting for a, a just cause mm-hmm. uh, on on TV. And then you see like the short footage around the world of people having the same protest. Yeah. It was amazing. But guess what? Right after when they talk about the economy, it cuts to like a oil spill thingy. Oh my God. And like how yeah, of course. an oil company wants to produce more oil. Mm-hmm. Right after the fucking manifestation for the, the, the protest for uh, the, the earth. Mm-hmm. It, like... Even the news, it's they like... They don't give a shit. They I just mean, don't give a shit. Because they're reporting. But at the same time, like... Bro, like... But at the same time... Right I after feel like, it? Like, come on. Yeah. You, you couldn't talk about sports for a yeah. second? I don't know. And then go... It's so dumb. At the same know. time, yeah. Like you said, it's it's mostly like... If you... If you want to make a change, don't try and change the world by, you know, making huge... Uh, making people walk around with fucking signs and you know well, i mean that makes it that's kind of don't, don't a start protests yeah. well, because that's it, not where it they don't give a fuck about that but i it, feel like the only way you can really make a change it's by you know either changing your way the way you you fucking live but think about it david i'm not i'm not saying you're wrong i'm just playing devil's advocate but it is impactful though i mean most like a lot of revolutions started with with protesting and then yeah but at the same time like i feel like it's 
it's just gonna go away. Like it, it's just you, you pass a fucking. It's, it's a like trend. saying to. I don't know, like. Because imagine, earlier, imagine if everybody was on it. If if everybody was like, like you fuck it, fuck what I'm doing for the day, and I'm gonna go walk, and you see like. <clears throat> And you, oh. see, <laughs> and you just see a sea of faces. Yeah. Everybody dropped their cars. Everybody stopped, like, the, the fucking shitty bus drivers stopped <laughs> driving yeah. this shitty bus and go walk with everybody. If everybody did that, how impactful would it be? But at the same time, you know, people see this as just a protest and they go around, they walk for the day and then go back to their fucking shitty habits. Yeah, of but driving fucking diesel cars and but at the like same that. time, but I always feel hope if people drop that and I saw and just hold on, what? <laughs> no, continue. Sorry, um, <laughs> but yeah, if people drop that idea that it's just you know a protest that could, uh, it's just like a message, and you know, apply that to their everyday life and just make this their everyday life. How fucking better would it be than just, you know, protesting for for one day and just? I think you need both. I don't know. Like making your protests a daily life would be like would would, would just mean that uh, you don't need to protest anymore because you're already doing what you were protesting about like every day. Mm. Not protesting about about but but for essentially. But the, I mean, there's a certain how do you say uh, a certain. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying that people who protest don't fucking care about the the environment. They just want want to you know look good, uh, doing a protest. Well, I mean, but if you protest I'm, for like protecting the earth, I think you're yeah yeah you're, you're already on that road, right? But you want to actually because it's your it's it's our planet. Yeah yeah exactly. It's, it's like not, I'm not saying that you you don't care about it. You just want to protest and you know get out and fucking yell and shit but, but at the same time like there wasn't any I'm just, report of accident there wasn't like any riots no 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 of course of course because i mean you, I, you had your troublemakers about, trying to uh, throw e eggs at yeah. trudeau but oh, of course that's of course. like one dumb stupid idiot see and everybody's agree like we can tackle him that's fine yeah exactly <laughs> so i'm not saying that people Sorry. protest are fucking wrong i'm just saying like um trying If you see this as the only way to change our world, uh, I'm sorry, but it's... Or make an impact. Yeah, it's not true. Like, you can make an impact just by changing the way you live every day. Like, yeah. you don't need to go outside and fucking... I don't know. Like, uh, sure, it gets a message around, but people are gonna fuck it, fucking forget it. But I, I, I still feel like it's fucking badass to have a... Oh, yeah, for sure. A young girl just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and I'm I mean, like for that, like I don't. It, it, it's not like she's the first one. That that's a whole fact that she's not the first one, uh, being militant at a young age. Yeah. But at the same time, like if if you're a fucking like <laughs> governor or I don't know, and like you get buddied by a 16 year old, like excuse me, but. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like I mean, she's dropping relative facts, like as yeah, in like you're fucking up the planet, and yeah, like for what an industry that's gonna live forever while you die and your successor take over and the yeah. the cycle until like the next that's solar like flare or big, the yeah. next big wave that <laughs> yeah. destroys everything. Like that's another thing. Um, I, I feel like uh, you know what. No, never mind. I feel, uh, what was I saying? Nothing. Yeah, I feel Just, like big corporate uh, dudes like this don't get it. They don't fucking care because it's mostly like they want to get the most out of their company and that's it. Like, well, uh, as I see it, I always saw it as a... As a... Um, uh, like a, a system that's been in place for so long that we can get out of it because we're yeah, dependent sure. we're like we depend on that but then like breaking that chain would bring chaos in some yeah, way yeah of course financial chaos or yeah because you're breaking the system for in which we lived in for fucking thousands of years yeah of course like saying like okay well fuck the meat industry 
everybody go vegan right now. Yeah, no, like, it's not gonna work. <clears throat> There's gonna be some angry mobs and you know real riots. <laughs> um, for me. Yeah, for sure. For anything. I mean, yeah, there's there's white riot from dumb shit, so I don't know. I mean, I've seen someone bring uh, his PF... Ooh, oh, my God. His beef? <laughs> I've seen someone bring his PS4 to a E3 presentation of a, a game that looks like fucking Breath of the Wild, which is supposed to, you know, go out on... You know, come out on PS4. Right. And, uh, you know, that... Big oh yeah, RPG the RPG thing that yeah. people often you know associate with Breath of the Wild because it has similar graphics and shit. And you know people were so fucking angry that one guy even brought his fucking PS4 on the the not the stage but the show area. Yeah, the, the presentation. And just yeah. fucking threw it, yeeted it on the ground. Well, I mean, and fucking stomped on it. That that's not child. new. Because, like, you know, so people, people are gonna did that with, like, for... iPhone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> when, so, <laughs> when they change the iOS for everybody, people... <laughs> as soon as something slightly changes, people go fucking nuts for for no fucking reason. Yeah, but that's the loud minority, I believe. Yeah, 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 for, for sure. For sure. But still. You're, you're always you know? going to have, like, your bunch of assholes trying to spoil it, spoil it for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I... It shouldn't like stop you from achieving what you believe in. By the way, that game looked fucking epic. Yeah, we are a video game podcast, and that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what has happened? Yeah, Takashi Six Nine snitched. <laughs> oh no! I enjoyed the memes. The memes. I love the memes. So great. I Holy fucking shit. love the memes. I I just wish I I was more like on it. <laughs> most of the time like i i was passive and <laughs> it, it was like the first situation where everybody i know sent me memes of that yeah more than me sending memes to others so it yeah, was yeah, really yeah. cool it's my so favorite one is funny. still the the waldo waldo one yeah <laughs> uh excuse me uh, your, your honor. honor he's right here <laughs> fucking great <laughs> yeah but yeah uh i wanted to ask you um no. so He snitched a whole bunch of people, right? Yeah. Uh, and, he didn't, and he refused to be in witness protection. Yeah. Was he dumb for that? Yeah. Of course he is. How so? How come? I mean, fuck. <laughs> You're gonna get a lot of enemies. Yeah, but at the same time, like... A lot of enemies. Does uh, he? Uh, yeah, know. there's a bunch of people. I, I feel like... Already, you know, we've seen uh, the opinions of, uh, you know, multiple rappers, I yeah. feel like. Oh, I um, didn't saw the video. Well, yeah, he's going to make some fucking... <laughs> he's in trouble. But I mean, the people, like, from the get-go, the people from that gang, of course. But at the same time, like, it's kind of stupid. stupid. Okay, so from stupid, stupid some f what I could... I'm going to clip his stupid yeah. stupid yeah right. so uh from what i managed to find i think like he did promotion for the game but he wow. how to say i i think it's because of his notoriety yeah he became fast friends or are accomplished i can i can i don't know he he, he He was close to the leaders, I yeah. believe. He he made like he made fast connections, I guess. Yeah. And now he's in a situation where like you're dabbling uh, in fucking gang shit and then you're gonna snitch on everyone <laughs> and not get witness protection. I don't know. Like one theory I kinda enjoy right now is that was he a mole all along or like Wow. Because he exploded really fast and like he, I mean, you, you saw what he looked like before yeah. all the tattoo and the yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, was that the plan all along or like, wow, what happened? That's, that's creepy. All right. But at the same time, like, uh, he, 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 it's so weird. I, I, I can't wait to see like what's going to happen because like, you can't have a normal life. Yeah. Everybody know like how he looks like. And even like, like where where do you want to go, Batman? 
Reagan. Turkey. Like, <laughs> <Damn> Batman. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, I feel like I don't know. I enjoy this kind of uh, theory kind of shit. Did you hear about cicada? C- c- what was that? Cicada. 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 The bug. Yeah. The insect. Yeah. Cicada. Uh, there's a number for that. I can't remember. But anyway, what, what's the thing? Uh, it's basically a giant fucking treasure hunt <laughs> what like you you hunt down hints and uh those hints lead to more hints and uh the eventually fuck? it's a it's a big old fucking hint hunt or treasure hunt right and, now uh not right now at one point they were looking for you know intelligent people and uh there's some fucking weird shit like it it's basically you get a code right Uh, you scan it, it gives you an image, and then if you look through the image, uh, the, the code of the image or some, some fucking weird shit gives you another code that leads you to some fucking coordinates, uh, then you find a fucking paper inside a box or some shit, and oh my like, God. it's super fucking weird. It's a treasure and, hunt. Um, apparently, like, there's a whole organization behind that. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> And that's something that happened like back in the days. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Cicada 3, I can't remember. Oh. Man, I love I, I love uh, conspiracy theories. Urban legend, sorry. Yeah. Uh mm-hmm. French. Um Legend urban. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> uh I mean, I guess we can fucking continue on that. Yeah. Uh My favorite one, my all-time favorite one is the the, love one, the love guy. Shit. No, sorry, <laughs> we keep that for uh, yeah another time. Uh, but my favorite one is the um, the traveler from nowhere. Wait, oh yeah, the, the guy, guy who, who got, got rescued from a ship or some shit. Yeah, yeah, he got and he like got he had beach. he had, he had uh, his passport and beach. and his, the currency from his uh, country. They couldn't find where the it was. The country, the name of the country, his name didn't make any fucking sense. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Everything That's, related. Like, anything you could have to prove that you're from somewhere. He spoke English, right? He, I believe so, I think. Yeah. I, I don't I don't know if it was in, if, even in English, the old dialect. But, yeah. Uh, and then when they tried to see the location of it, uh, he disappeared and everything. Oh, that's, but it was on a boat, so like, yeah. how did he escape? You know, there's a weird thing that, um, you know, this whole Bermuda Triangle type shit. Yeah, um, I think the guy who wrote uh, Small Prince, Petit Prince. Yeah, he. I think it disappeared. Mm. I, I'm not sure. That that might be bullshit. I but mean, I always I thought think he disappeared in the triangle. Yeah, I always thought that. You know, humanity was in a, a kind of quarantine, a quarantine uh, for a very long time. Watch out now, because um, I actually want to keep those topic for uh, the Elizabeth episode. Oh yeah, true. Okay. Uh, well, you know, never mind. Um, Don't spoil the audience. Yeah, but yeah, it's it's one of my my all time favorite topics. I guess. I know, buddy. It's, We'll get there. Ha! But yeah. Yeah, this this kind of... Uh, I, don't, I don't know, like theories always get to me. Yeah, But just like it, it, jet fuel can't melt steel beams. Well, I mean, there's always this... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, You gotta be careful when you fucking <laughs> <laughs> look through the internet for fucking shit like this because there's a lot of it's like you know ghost videos or shit you, you, there's more fake stuff than real yeah so you you wouldn't know if it was real anyway yeah because like how what do you want to to Ooh. i guess cross-reference it my neck oh my my favorite thing was Ooh. also like uh the whole videos of like front the people fucking up with fondue. the front port front porch 
you know the video with like people acting weird in front of the the camera in the oh, in the states they yeah. have like camera on their front door yeah so like either it's like home invasion gone we all failed attempt most of the time or, it's just like a zoom in on some dude's nose yeah but that was someone thing. just being creepy yeah which is fucking the the one that freaked me out the most was um it it was a guy that came up to the front door and he tried to break in no 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 he he was he was um talking to fake himself. he was talking but fake talking as in like he he was um talking to someone that wasn't there no like it <laughs> okay so so the whole setup right so you have the front the front door the dude behind the front door and uh but not behind but in front of the door mm -hmm. and a car in the back and the dude who was uh, on the front porch tried to like fake a conversation with the person on the other side but there was nobody so he was like oh okay uh yeah i was just I was asking if someone was there because I need help or blah blah but he was faking it yeah. for the person who, in, who was in the car mm -hmm. and then he was like oh well I'm sorry I'm sorry and just left with the guy in the car so like what what the fuck was that I don't know it's it's Yikes. just so creepy yeah because like was he hostage yeah like, the whole plan like it's just fucking weird <laughs> no but like what's sense. the plan that's the yeah, thing exactly because if it sense. was home invasion like he could just force the door and not faking a conversation with someone that wasn't there like yeah, i don't I mean, know like what's like, it what's the kind of, and the thing is like they don't explain oh i mean they explain what we see on the camera but other than that who knows yeah like it's so it's so creepy that's mm -hmm. why i love like um uh, short horror stories like creepypastas and shit yeah not the classic ones but jeff the killer yeah oh this is so shit oh uh, my god you know the meme historian the the guy yeah. i showed you the video of, yeah uh he made he made like a dramatic art reading of the jeff the killer story yeah oh my god <laughs> I, mean, i was listening to it like while getting um breath of the wild footage um I, i didn't know it was that cringy oh it's super fucking cringy the, it's so bad the, the story yeah oh, it's so it, it's so and it's so cliche yeah of like, course I, it is. i thought it was like it's I don't know. super fucking mainstream yeah it's like a fan But fiction or some it, shit yeah it, it gives like a bad name to those good creepypastas they're yeah. more i don't know like uh there's a couple of channels that just read those mm -hmm. and um I don't know. I, I found one that was, was it something with a door? You know, like when wood is like, uh, wood. Anyway, when you look <laughs> at wood, you know, there's like a, um, <laughs> fucking, there's some patterns, right? Yeah. There's some, uh lines and fucking dots and shit mm -hmm. and uh i guess the person was seeing some kind of monsters in in those in the doors and shit yeah and he said jesus on the door exactly mm -hmm. like some people see fucking dogs and shit bread. Uh, yeah who's a wood boy uh <laughs> wood boy <laughs> <Yeah>. all right <laughs> never saw that we peaked that's a great meme um But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So the the guy was seeing like a bunch of patterns and uh, you know monsters in in his door, right? Um, I don't want to tell the whole story, but basically, just the idea of the monster keeping that appearance and coming, you know, basically coming to life, mm -hmm. keeping like that distorted wood creature feel is i don't know it's nice like uh, I, i feel like some some movies need to think outside the box a little bit for their monster designs because it's beginning yeah. to get it's, it's a little weird because like I f a little bit stale you know look it's, the major problem i would see with horror movie is that they they ran too long they ran and too that's long a fact. and when they reveal the the monsters that's just a whole fact 
some fucking boring ass dude with max uh, a mask or just you know don't uh, talk shit about slasher movie i love them because look because yeah, look okay look 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 the monsters look. are usually just so uninspired david look look at me so you have halloween right michael myers had problem in his youth weird dude goes uh, on a killing spree on halloween I don't think he killed any, like, he barely killed a lot of people in his own movie. And then he get, I don't know, put down, I don't know, uh, some shit. And then you have Jason, dude with a hockey mask. Stop staring at me. <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude with a hockey mask. <laughs> Stop doing that. I have to edit that out. Um, right. Dude with a hockey mask, just, I don't know, people make fun of him, just, goes on the killing spree you have uh what else fuck and then from those what we have scream which is like basically a, a fucking a hey, what if there's two killers and that's interesting and it's funny too so what's the problem <laughs> like i don't know the the i <laughs> Because the problem you're describing is more with monster movies. Yeah. Because like you have, you have they're the fucking th shit. Hold on, we have All the right. thing. The first thing was fine, nothing yeah. to say. The remake though, I think it's the remake. You have a monster with tentacles, right? Mm. And for some reason, the creatures can reach anywhere, and the a character hides in a in a tunnel. The tentacles go up next to her but don't touch her even though we clearly know that he can uh, severe a, a member and that member becomes alive like he can mm. he, he can ditch part of his body to become another like not 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 spice himself but like <laughs> spice himself splice oh uh spice himself. For, for example if i if i am the creature i take the appearance of me right yeah i could like the my arm could fall off and that's the creature like the yeah, rest is like a, whatever but an octopus basically yeah like they can lose the tentacle or they're just like each tentacle has a set of neurons basically. yeah i guess so, the, the neurons will still work in that case yeah. so the tentacle has a mind of its own so basically. like you create we create a powerful creature that can do anything but for plot conveniences he cannot for some reason yeah because it's just fucking armor. stupid Yeah, well, not not only blood armor, but having like a creature that's stupid on command is, is yeah. stupid. Yeah, exactly. So I feel like one of the monster movies that I enjoyed the most was The Mist. <laughs> Have you seen The Mist? <laughs> yeah, I think it's stupid, but yeah. It is, but wait. The fact is that is, the thing with like the people stuck in a in the mist. No, not in the mist, but like they are in the gas station or some shit. Yes, and f society falls off because like you have the Christian from yeah. one side and blah blah. But you barely see any monsters. When you see them, it's well. I mean, the and CG. is that and is it in the mist that like the father? uh lose like his son and everybody with him and then the military comes right after oh yeah okay. yeah, yeah yeah oh yeah yeah i saw him <laughs> yeah but um yeah, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's, the, uh, the movie the isn't bitter and yeah isn't like super good but like it's decent yeah it's decent but i mean the fact that you don't see the monsters or you don't see every fucking single monster and there's I feel like there's a big encyclopedia of <laughs> fucking creatures that comes out of there and you can probably find some, you know, uh, I feel like you could write a book or just, um, yeah. because they come in wave. Yeah. They come in waves and they're all different. It's like Legion. It, it's oh like a whole other like fauna from another yeah. dimension essentially. So you see the big, Cloverfield type monster at the end. Uh, I love Cloverfield. Huh? I love Cloverfield. Yeah, it's good. Um, 
it's it's a fine uh, sorry but it's a it's a fucking fine movie people are like <laughs> but it's like it's it's fine as a as a i guess i would qualify it as a kaiju movie yeah yeah but it is as a first like person experience i think it's it's mighty fine honestly yeah like just cut the ending and that's perfect i mean that you could end, say that the ending was stupid movies. <laughs> yeah yeah cut the a, lo- a lot of horror movie you, you could like shave off 30 minutes and it could be perfect yeah. yep yeah uh, i totally agree but uh yeah if if monster movies could just because stop I, I know i already oh uh, i already talked about it on another podcast but yeah. like imagine like you fucking see the head of the the liberty statue fucking fall next to you like oh, you're yeah. like oh my god what the fuck what is going on yeah. and you see like fire um right like a few blocks down and you're like oh my god what is going on and you just see the helicopters and that feeling of dread not yeah. knowing what's going on yeah, yeah. that's oh man that's so awesome i mean that's why acting I, his ass but oh yeah <laughs> for sure i mean but i don't know the concept was cool at the time yeah i made some uh and the, the two movies next to the i'm sorry to cut you off so often but like uh fuck off the two movies <laughs> and uh 10 chlorophyll lane was a good fucking it, is it a it's, sequel it's, it's not a sequel right it's not is it related the, okay so you have 10 chlorophyll lane and you have the paradox something shit the, yeah. the god particle but it's not yeah, yeah, yeah. god particle uh you have 10 chlorophyll lane which take place in this loosely in the same universe so basically it's a standalone movie until like the 10 last minute the last 10 minutes what the fuck yeah exactly what the fuck because uh, <laughs> uh it's basically like someone stuck in a cellar yeah. uh with with a dude robert perlman i don't know the name anyway a big fat dude perlman yeah you saw him in a lot of movies yeah, yeah, yeah. um this guy he he has two people on stage and from like from the beginning of the movie you you feel like something is not right because like you she's not she, i mean at the f- beginning of the movie she's she's her prisoner but then it's more like she's he's trying to protect them but he's fucking creepy about it mm. and then like she sees a lot of weird stuff happening outside like when she get a sense to have a peek and mm. at the last like fucking 15 minutes of the movie it's just turned into like oh shit so basically there's an alien invasion and <laughs> that's what ties the whole Fuck. the whole um clover field part no, which is fucking fuck? stupid, stupid but anyway like it's clear it, you see, you watch the movie and you're like, oh yeah, that's it's true. J.J. Abrams really bought that movie franchise, or I don't know that 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 one specific movie and tried to shove some stuff on it. Like, it's fucking dumb. Anyway, it could have been a fucking standalone movie. Yeah, it could have been a cool m- movie about like maybe a, a maybe a zombie invasion, but yeah, but uh, she got um, she got kidnapped, but there's a actual zombie infestation like Wait, going like i don't know cool concept but so dark tower and it are in the same universe right dark tower yeah i'm not familiar with that uh it's like uh the lone gunman versus like some demon type dude i would say like maybe all the stephen king thing are in the same universe yeah there you go uh, I think there's yeah. a thing about like not everything, but some of the his stuff are in the same universe. Mm. Not not directly implied, but there's hints. Okay. Um, oh fuck! Uh, you just reminded me. You know they're making a sequel to The Shining. What the fuck? Exactly. Why? I don't know. It's so fucking weird, and it's about the kid yeah. too. Who fucking cares? <laughs> and it's like. The kid, you know, the kid at The Shining, like the the special thing yeah. that makes him see stuff. Yeah. And then there's uh, there's another kid who has powers and blah blah, and it's it looks so fucking dumb. And the they brought back the the red uh, sea, the not the red sea, but the you know the scene where the red water just flows in 
Yeah, blood. The building. Yeah, the blood. <laughs> the red water. The red water. <laughs> anyway, but the the trailer was so stupid. stupid. Oh my god! And you see the two little girls again for some reason. The the creepy two little of girls. Of course. Girl, right? Like it's just nostalgia bait. I feel yeah, exactly. Even That's even based motel. Oh my! It doesn't god. need a fucking sequel. Like I'm People sorry, just, but if you enjoy base motel, like just don't <laughs> unsubscribe. No, I'm just kidding. Because yeah, like I mean, I, <sighs> Psycho was a standalone thing. Like yeah. it was fine as it is. It's it's um, you know it it. It's a good experience on the first watch, and I guess you get more hints when you watch it again mm. because of the the twist. Yeah. But having like a prequel series about like you already know how it's gonna end. Who cares? I don't fucking care to see like how he became like that. Yep. <clears throat> it's uh, painful. It's just pandering because you the most you're gonna get about it is like either feel your nostalgia boner or like. <laughs> Uh, give you a sense of accomplishment when you notice the Easter egg, uh, yeah. but that's it. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, it's painful. Speaking of another stuff that grinds my gear, you know, Joker. Yeah. Apparently, I mean the movie is not out at the time of recording, but apparently, um, they they sh they shoved fucking Batman in it somehow in, in some form in some form they they shove hints of Batman. But you don't fucking need it. We already know who the Joker is. Uh, like, everybody know who the Joker is. That could have been... A fu I mean, uh, we still have to see it for ourselves. I'm going to see it. Yeah, that's I'm going to sure. see it too. But... But, th but if you had... If, you, if any studios had one character, one villain, yeah. that they could put without the, the, the main protagonist, mm -hmm. that's Joker. Yeah. Because from what I saw, like from the trailers, you can tell that it, it looks like a, a low budget. Logan. What? It looks like the fucking Logan of uh Oh, yeah, yeah. DC. Like, a, like, yeah. like smaller scale, yeah, yeah, but yeah, like yeah. more intimate. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I get that. I never saw Logan. <laughs> Me neither. <actually. laughs> but, but yeah, it, it does feel like an um, adult comic done somewhat right. Yeah. Like a good R-rated experience. Mm -hmm. But just knowing that they tried to hint Batman, and I feel like you, you still see it in the trailer. I think he touched a kid at some point. Excuse me? <laughs> he, he makes a, a kid smile with his thumbs. Oh, okay. Um, That's a different trailer. <laughs> but he, he's behind bars, so I would assume it's the Wayne Manor. Oh, okay. So, like, it's like, ah, no! <laughs> <laughs> You, <laughs> it just ah, oh. peaking motherfucker. But Look it's 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 just like, no, it's because it pisses me off. Like, if people want to, like we we fucking live in an era in a society where anybody can look any information anywhere at any time. Yeah, you don't fucking need to be like oh yeah by the way that's that's they're gonna clash in the future like come on nigga we know <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm, <sighs> man I'm so tired give Jesus. it a chance give it a chance like let it be its own movie yeah for me fucking judge dread would always be the i mean one of the best superhero movie yeah because guess what they respect the character the fucking actor didn't remove the helmet once because mm -hmm. that's the character <laughs> yep who fucking care about fucking Sylvester Stallone being like I'm Dolph get the fuck out nigga you old you <laughs> <laughs> go make your last Rambo Yo. movie and that's it oh yeah because uh, Rambo is coming back again because can they make something <laughs> new oh my god no Leave David the old people don't like new stuff that's what you don't get that's what I said earlier. But at the same See, time, okay, I'm fucking right. If it's if it's a conclusion for the character, I'm fine with that. I guess. Leave it alone. Cause like, I mean, fucking try to make an emotion, like trying to make a meathead emotional. Like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, they're they're trying too hard. 
Like the whole point of eighties eighties movies are just well eighties action movies is basically just blowing shit up and just having a buff dude run around yeah know, killing people America <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly is is the whole fucking point mm -hmm. if you try and shove emotional shit and just storytelling about that oh it was man, always a deep character what that's my that's my beef what with geek got off for because that's <sighs> Like, people are like, oh, God of War became mature, but it's like, he was always, like, there was hints of that way yeah. back then. Like, you're gonna say, like, oh, the fucking hashes of, on his body, that's his family. Like, yeah. what the fuck you mean? He went on a whole rampage, not only because of that, mm. but that was a... Uh, um, I guess a traumatic experience for him. Yeah. But like, of course, like, I don't know. I feel like I was more satisfied with the, with the hints of humanity mm -hmm. in the older God of War than the new one. In the new one, like, you get somewhat of that, but it's more of a hint. It's like a bird box. It's experience. not over. <laughs> oh, Like, oh yeah, it's really By the way, I tried. Anyway, it got a far. We we might tackle that in yeah. another podcast, but yeah. Sorry. I tried to uh, watch Bird Box. He tried got, people. Yeah, I I tried like I don't know. I got to 24 minutes and then gave up. <laughs> as soon as I saw like the flashbacks, I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm done. That's gonna be the rest of the fucking movie is gonna be like a flashback. Bullocks are just fucking. The, Is it Sandra? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's just going to be her walking around, or run, running around in, in the fucking woods with two kids. So, I, I don't, I don't, I don't care. And, just, like, the, I don't have any fucking interest. In the book is amazing. Is it? They managed to fuck it up. Is it yeah, amazing? because you follow her is it? from the get go. Okay, so basically, in the book, she's younger. Mm -hmm. right off the bat so mm -hmm. she she doesn't have like all the uh she, she doesn't have like her head on her shoulder like in the movie like oh. i i mean like because sandra bullock is an older woman sandra bullock and oh that's it oh, yeah. so basically you have that element what right? the fuck did i say she, she's young sandra bullock yeah you said it right did i yeah okay so she's young well not sandra bullock but the character is young in yeah. the, the book uh you only see what well see in parentheses only see what the character sees in the book so if she's not outside you don't know what's going on outside in the movies they're more lenient they yeah. show you like like okay, so later in the movie she goes somewhere and then the camera goes back to the kid to see what they're doing okay which is stupid, stupid. yeah but in the book that wouldn't happen because you, you stick with the character mm. Uh, time pass inside the house, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's it's in a shitty. First of all, it's in a shitty house. It's not in a fucking mansion with cameras, with like the fucking dude from Mr. Robot. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's. I don't know. Anyway, it, it's, it's. I'm afraid I can't. Ooh, it's, yeah, in, it's in it's in a mind. crappy location, right? Yeah, and by the time the time goes by and you know she's malnourished because she can't go out fucking outside which mm. adds another layer of like paranoia because you're like fuck i can't we can't have it's hard to go outside and get food yeah it's not the the oh yeah we have a car we just put fucking journal on the fucking windows and and use the 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 car gps or some shit mm. you feel more dread in the book than the okay in the movie it, it looks more easy to survive in that environment right yeah. um and uh, anyway a bunch of shit and like the whole thing of like her being not wanting to be emotionally attached to the kids so she named her own son boy and the <laughs> little girl of the girl it's wow retarded Did, um, Sorry, I can't say that on YouTube. Did um, did they describe the monsters in the book? I don't remember. Because if they did, and they just decided to change 
<laughs> oh yeah, designed it was the, for those <laughs> fucking old babies. Yeah, I'm gonna be so fucking mad. <laughs> old crusty babies. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> crusty ass. Like, babies. can you imagine if they had the <laughs> same premise, but you see what the monster looked like? It was that. I would have fight someone. Yeah, I'd have probably broke my fucking Dynex. Yeah, monitor. I would have had but It's not nice. even a monitor. It's a fucking TV. What the hell is this? Like, fucking hell. Oh, my God. What did I... F Why did I feel the fucking need to name the brand of my TV? Because you want that product placement, baby. Sponsor me. Dynex. <laughs> Sponsor your main. Go and get your main. All right. Um, oh, yeah. Enough should about we... box. Fucking done. Should we end it there? We can end. <laughs> we can end on bird box. All right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of? Uh, oh, yo. Um. We're getting closer to cyberpunk. My God, we're we're just fucking talking about the same things over and over. Yeah. All right. Welcome to the world of podcasts. I mean, at this point, I feel like we are a horror movie podcast. Kinda. Yeah, pretty much. Kind of. Until, until we get someone else on the podcast. And until we get fucking Breath of the Wild. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so fucking hyped. Oh, my God. I want a new trailer. I want something. Yeah. It's just, what the fuck? Okay. I think it's time to go. My PC is just. All right. Well, we're going to hand. We're going to hand here, people. Yeah. Let me do a fucking outro, please. Stop. No, don't do it. Please. Stop. I beg you. All right. So like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day, people. Drink more water. I know people have stopped drinking water for a while because... Sip this water. Yeah. Just for me. Come on. <laughs> Just Stay drink hydrated. some water. Stay hydrated, people. Like, Get comment, subscribe. Help. Recommend this podcast to anybody. It's... It's available everywhere, literally everywhere. Anywhere you can think for a podcast, SoundCloud, uh, fucking Spotify, iTunes. If you're more of an anchor people, like it's on anchor, it's everywhere. Just um, spread where? the word. Anchor. It's also on Castbox too. It's it's everywhere, literally. Wait, that's, no, it's not everywhere because I will. Maybe on Pornhub. Can we? Yeah, that's that's uh, we can. Actually. Can we put the podcast on Pornhub? <laughs> it's gonna be funny as shit. Yeah, I'd yeah, I'd be fucking down. Let's go. <laughs> A lot. It of will be available on Pornhub. Some fucking anchor. What? That was a bad pun. I'm sorry. All right. So yeah, man. Uh, we'll see you later. Have a great time. This has been the weekly appointment. We out. Hey, thank you, David. You let me do it now. <laughs>